Hey everybody, this is a tutorial for the Zoom conferencing app website. Um, and it should hopefully help you understand kind of how this Zoom thing works. Zoom is basically a meeting, but it's online. So the teacher will be a host and then the students will join the meeting and it's basically kind of a big chat just between us, just between the people who have the link. So um, Zoom is free, it's pretty easy. You don't need to make an account or anything. All you need to do is download it. So on a laptop, you need to go to zoom.us slash download, and then um, just click on the big download button. And there might be a couple more questions that they ask you, but basically just download that app. When you, if you don't know, if you forget what I said, just go and Google zoom install and it'll just go right there and we can just install it from there so that's pretty easy if you were on a tablet or a cell phone or something like that just find the app in your app store and download that again you do not need to make an account or anything so the teacher is going to give you a link so mrs erickson's class she already gave you a link when you click on this link it's going to launch the class meeting. However, if you click on this and your teacher doesn't have a meeting scheduled, you're just going to be loading for a really long time. It's not going to start a meeting or anything. But let's say that Mrs. Erickson plans her meeting for Wednesday at 2. At 2 or at about 1.55, if you click on this link, it's going to start loading and getting you ready to launch the next meeting. Um, the teacher will accept it once she's in and ready or he's in and ready. So let's practice a little bit. So I'm a student right now on my laptop. I am clicked on the link and it gives me this option to open and I said yes for sure. So I open that. On your phone it might be a little different. I'm not sure. We'll kind of see how it goes. And then I'm going to click yes for join computer audio. That way I can hear what's going on. So if I click on that, I want to click mute right away because there's, if there's a lot of kids going, going on at once, um, it's just going to be a lot. So mute it right away. You can always unmute it by clicking that button. And then start your video. That way I can kind of see what's going on. So the video that I have up here, this is me as a student. This right here is the teacher. So on my phone right here, I have the teacher. I'll start the video so you can kind of see what it's like from the kid's perspective. So right here, this is the teacher talking. This would be you. Um, now let's say that your audio isn't working very well or it doesn't work at all. There's a chat button down here. This is kind of like texting, messaging. Um, you can just say, hey, my audio doesn't work. And everybody will receive that, so we'll know that you can't talk. But you can message on there. If I ask questions, you can answer them on there. And it's pretty simple. Um, when you're done, you can either just leave the meeting or the teacher will end the meeting. But you just click on that, leave the meeting, and there we go. That was your first Zoom meeting. So pretty simple but please ask Mr. Janikowski or myself if you have any questions, comments, concerns and um, that's basically it. The teacher can record the meeting so if you are unable to make it he or she can record it and then send that link to the students and they can watch whatever happened on the meeting so it was like they're pretty much there anyway.